Hi guys, I started the video by just doing makeup and I decided I wanted to talk. Um, there's a product I wanted to talk about, a couple of them. One of them is the new Wet n Wild liquid liner and it has a fine tip. It retails for $5.99 and it's great. It's comparable to the Kat Von D tattoo as well as the L'Oreal Cat Noir. So this one I recommend. It's great price and um, probably just as much product as the other two. And um, for a great price. Sorry, it's super windy out there. Crazy weather. Anyway, so today I did airbrush. I used my Bellissimo Vanilla and I believe it is Cappuccino for my foundations to cover. I had a major breakout. And then I used my Dynair. I have two colors. Um, I used for the base color a green um, electric and then the Apple Teeny Shimmer all around and then I did jet black and then I went over the black with the green so it's kind of this smudge smoky look and now I'm going to take my liner and I'm just going to go across I feel like today I can't see so anyway Everything is crooked and not working. So, we're gonna make everything work. And you know how black liner goes, you can keep drawing and drawing. It's one of those days. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go even, even. And my favorite thick lashes have fallen apart. So I'm using these thinner, lighter weight strip lashes. So it's a little bit of a different look. But it does the same trick. Okay. So, get my glue ready. I'm using the duo glue as usual. So, I hope you guys are doing okay. We'll just wait for that to dry a little bit. If you don't know, I'm sure most of you do know, the duo glue takes about 60 seconds to get tacky, so you don't have to rush to um, apply your lashes. And I'm letting my liner dry a little bit. So eyebrows I did earlier for my dog walk, and they're not bad. It's pretty, it's not a uh, super defined makeup look. I'm just kind of keeping it really flowy. I'm going with the airbrush. Instead of using my stencil, I put the green all around, and I want it to be really blurred and soft, but at the same time really sparkly. So I'm kind of inspired by Halloween, but at the same time I don't want to do a full costume makeup. This is kind of my glam Halloween look, just for fun. Uh, this is that time of year where you can get away wearing crazy colors if you don't normally or super dark colors if you don't normally. It just seems to be the, the energy in the air. People are fall and winter. And for those of you who do it anyway, power to you. I can see I've got a little bit of splitting in my airbrush and that happens. So there's two things you can do if that happens to you. And it does happen. A lot of people don't talk about or show it. And it can be the pressure. I went in a little too tight. I went in a little too heavy. My airbrush may not be spraying properly. And that's why it's important to check your equipment. And if you're like me, you just start using it. Um, you can go in with a powder and tap, or you can go back with the airbrush and just gently fill in super lightly. So we're going to try that. And give these eyelashes a chance to adhere. So it's been a week. Um, basically, my transmission went on my Jeep. So I've made it through COVID and working at home and to having a job, not having a job, and a business and making money and not making money. And the one thing that seems to really demotivate me is not having a vehicle. And everything else, I seem to be able to get through it. So I thought that was interesting. But everything happens for a reason to teach you. So I'm going in with my... A lighter color and I'm gonna go and just fill in the little gap that I see it's actually on this side and you want to be careful because you can think you see a gap my eyelashes are still drying as you can see but um, it can really just be the reflection so I can see the little gap it looks a bit messy and mucky in there so I'm gonna go in and smooth it out with my airbrush I'm gonna very gently go in I'm using my to go so there's no speed dials I have one speed and that's why it's important to be paying attention when you're spraying 
and just use your lever. You have to relax and just really feel the energy. So I'm going to go in. I, I test it on my towel that I have in my lap first, and I just spray, make sure it's not my gun. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and just fill in those gaps very gently because I don't want to make, have it turn into a mess. And I did not get it on the liner. I'm just going into the crease where I see a little pillage. And you can see it's a beautiful bright green. I've smudged it all down below and I put the apple teeny more as my, what you would usually use your darker color for. I just want something different and it's very reflective and it's got almost a sheen of yellow in there. And it's really just two greens. It's the um, electric which has a green to yellow tone to it, and then the apple teeny, which I love. And I love playing with the different airbrush colors and using it as regular makeup. I think it's got a real beautiful sheen to it, and I think it can look really pretty uh, if people get creative and don't go for your casual browns. And you know, I love my browns too, but sometimes it's fun to play. I love the green. It reminds me of the 60s and just kind of the cat eye, the true cat eye. And so you could go more subtle. For the purposes of the video, I like going darker so it pops a little bit more, especially when I take my photo. Um, because I have black hair, I can get away with heavier eyes. At least I feel I can in just my look. But for someone else who's, whose style is maybe a little more tame, you could go lighter but do the same idea where you just kind of blur out the, the uh, airbrush makeup. So instead of trying to do these perfect lines and trying to do the makeup like eyeshadow, I take the airbrush and I free flow and I just spray it. And I find it's got a more modern look to it. Um, and I find that it emulate, emulates the looks that you see on the runway and stuff more versus just kind of like doing this perfect little brown or berry color because it's safe. And if that's your thing, great, do it. But we want to push the envelope and do something fun and get you thinking and being creative and thinking outside of the airbrush box. <laughs> so anyway, so three colors for the eye and then a liner. And then um, I think to finish it, I would go underneath. I've neatly packed away my brushes into my little Chanel. I have this travel kit with all these pockets and I've decided to start using them. So we could go back underneath with the shadow um, or with the uh, airbrush. And you know me, I love to mix colors. So I actually want to take this metallic and there all goes all my makeup. This metallic, that's not it. Let me find it. There's a metallic purple that I really want to use. Ooh, I have gold too. That would be really pretty. Let's get it out. Okay, so I have this metallic -y purple, shimmery purple by Chanel. It's called Amethyst. And I'm going to just go underneath just slightly, just to kind of contrast with the green and do something different. So it's giving it a little definition, but at the same time, um, just so the whole eye isn't like a bright green. And we're going to go back in with mascara. So it just gives us a little darkness down here. Alright. We're going to go back in with our liner. Our beautiful Wet n Wild that I love, which I think is a great buy. Um, and it is a challenge to find good liquid liner. I went to the store, I just hit the drugstore because I needed a liner quick and everything was sold out. So that tells you something about drugstore liners and about these fine tip liners. They're very good and they work wherever my liner is. Okay, here it is. Um, so that's interesting. So I'm going to gently pull just to get a fine in those corners. I'm going to do the other one. Even it out. I like to go in after I do the lashes because it just, depending on where your lashes land, evens it out. And there we go. All right, so I think for the blush, um, I'm going to do the um, peach pink. So I am going to go in with airbrush and dark peach pink. This is one of my go-tos for airbrush. 
uh, blush. I love this color. I find it's easy and neutral and because we did a stronger eye. I'm just going to do the apples of the cheeks today. I'm not going to go up into the brow like I normally do. I still have to do my prep and prime underneath. So I just want a soft. And I'm doing soft circular motions. I feel a little foliage. There we go. Okay. I don't know about you, but sometimes you're doing your makeup and it feels like it's turning into a hot mess, but really it's not. You can pull it together in a second. So it's just putting in those little extra products. So right now I know I need my, my prep and prime. I need to smooth things out. I can see that um, I just need to get a little bit of a coverage. I like to use this larger brush, but not so large because I like to tap into my eyes underneath. So I just like going in underneath, and you can see how it just smooths everything out. And I'll just pull that off and down. So I'm not touching my eye, I'm just going right underneath the lid, the bottom lid. I'm keeping this blurred purple and green, and I'm just kind of matting this out to catch any fall off. and it's just smooth around and I'm not wrecking the blush. Today I'm matting up into here. Just want to change and I'm going to do a little bit into here. I can see shine and I think I'm sweating a little bit. I'm just trying to do a lot today. Hopefully I get my car back today. Uh, it sucks when your transmission goes, but that's life. So I'm just rolling with it. It's been interesting not having a vehicle. And I think my puppy is suffering more than I am because he got used to his walks and his drives and his drive through. So, I've been compensating him by doing two walks a day, etc. Okay, so lost my comb. So next video is going to be finishing off this hair. But as you can see, we just need a beautiful lip now. And I'm going to do a matte cream NYX. Soft and easy. I'm going just a little bit over my lip. And if you want to take your liner and just define that more, you can. I know I'm putting a mask on, like most of you, and it's just like a lot of losing battle. So that's why I went with a softer lip color. And I am going to get this hair done, but this is pretty much what we've done is this glammy green eye, which is really pretty and bright. I'm really loving it. So, let me finish this look for you.
Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, I just went in with a Q-tip and cleaned it up a little bit because I felt like it was a little bit too high for the day. I've got possibly picking up my Jeep. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was airbrush and just a little bit of powder this time. And I'll list the products below. And then I'm also wearing my um, jade necklace that I've made and a jacket I got from Express. I've been doing their style box, so I'll be doing a review on that. And also a review on how to wear statement jewels. I've got a ton of stuff that I'd love to share with you. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. I really appreciate the support, and I hope you find some tips and tricks to keep glamming and shine inside and out. Bye-bye.